time mastery. In a nation where time mastery has become a joke, it's a bit difficult to imagine making a punctual society. When it has become customary to tell your colleagues to come at 9 a.m. for the annual get-together, then the actual starting time, that is 10 a.m., that shows how much punctual your company is. How much external consulting hours spent on time management is wasted? It's pathetic that most of us are clueless on time mastery. You promise your client that you would meet him at 3 o'clock. You wait till 3 o'clock and get into your vehicle at 3.05. You meet your client at 3.25. How many times has this happened to you as a service provider or a client? This happens because we never adopt a technique called backward planning. Even though the term sounds a bit negative, it can do many drastic changes in your professional life. If you need to meet your client at 3 o'clock, you need to get into the vehicle by 2.40. If it's school rush hours, then give another 30 minutes extra for the traveling time. Now you have to leave your office by 2.10 p.m. To leave office by 2.10, you need to finish other work by 2.10, including your home-cooked lunch. Because you don't want to get gastritis by not eating meals on time or eating junk food or fried rice from wayside restaurants. Make it a habit to meet your clients on time. Make it a challenge and perhaps you can win many orders being punctual. If you're stuck somewhere due to some traffic jam, call the client. It'll cost you between 4 to 13 rupees using your mobile or office landline. If you don't have any of them on your way, get into a communication center. They will charge you around 10 rupees a minute. Your client will appreciate that and he is definitely going to be a very loyal client. Remember, it is always a good practice to carry the client's phone number in your diary on your way to your client's place, especially in rush hours.